Hello, I'm your superhero critic, and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome. Power Rangers was not supposed to last as long as it has, mainly because the company did not expect it to be as popular as it was. So, they were only ordered a specific amount of episodes ending with today's review, but we all know how that ended afterwards. So without further ado, let's take a look at the two-parter that was supposed to be the end of the Power Rangers, Doomsday. Doomsday begins with our heroes reading the newspaper about the news of a Power Rangers Day being celebrated by the city. Rita has her own plan of resurrecting Goldar's own Zord called Psychopsis to attack the city with. Bulk and Skull then reveal that there is more than one group of heroes in Angel Grove. With iron chests and arms of steel, we've got real superhero appeal. We'll protect this city with all our might. Bulkster and Super Skull will set things right. Well, at least they have a catchphrase. Can't say anything else is going for them, but at least they have a catchphrase. After Bulk and Skull become the laughing stock of the event, Rita starts making the entire audience disappear, and Zordon lets them know what's going on. Goldar Zord finally is revealed and actually looks like it could be a threat, so the Rangers morph and jump into the Zords. The battle goes south very fast, with Psychopsis completely decimating the Megazord, and even with the help of the Dragon Zord, it's not enough and our heroes are quickly taken down, even with the help of Dragon Mega Mode. The Rangers call Titanus to go into Ultra Mode, and finally manage to take down Psychopsis, which angers Rita, who casts a spell to trap Titanus, and casts another spell to summon the being known as Locor, who in turn recreates her Zord, Control. but with their Zords at without like energy, they cannot do Psychopsis. anything, and they are, are given are bad do? news from Wait, Zordon. With our only hope. That is correct, Rangers, because if you lose this battle, they will all be trapped in Rita's Vortex forever. Our heroes tell their mentor they need to do something, even if it means using the backup power, which does not go well as Goldar overpowers our heroes, and all looks grim as the Rangers are slowly destroyed. Oh no, negative photo filter effects! What will we do? As the Zords dissipate, the Rangers are forced to abandon ship. Billy informs us that the Zords weren't destroyed and only retreated to re-energize, but they have lost touch with Zordon. Goldar decides he'll make a home visit when he visits the Rangers in Billy's own home, and Billy gets the communicators fixed in time. They're functional. Impossible! We're out of here. Gordon tells his rangers that the way to beating Psychopsis is to frequently change Zord modes to weaken his adjustment. So our rangers morph into action and the fight goes quickly as the rangers are shown in every mode they have from Mega Zord to Dragon Battle Mode and finally Ultra Mode. Psychopsis is weakened enough for our heroes to finally bring the evil Zord down. The champ! The two-parter ends with Rita retreating, all of the people are safely returned, and the Rangers make their appearance for the celebration with a small cameo from Tommy. Zordon then gives our heroes a choice of retiring as Rangers, but our heroes of course deny it and choose to stay as Rangers for good. We end with the cry of Power Rangers! Power Rangers! Thankfully, the show got episodes added on to the first season, as well as an approval for a second season, which introduces a brand new and more terrifying American villain. 
Tune in next week and we will dive into the appearance of that villain as we go into the mutiny that introduced Lord Zed. I'm your superhero critic. I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome.